welcome back. This week, actress Olivia Munn revealed a shocking breast cancer diagnosis. She explained in an Instagram post that despite genetic testing and a normal mammogram, she was diagnosed just last year with an aggressive form of cancer. Months of treatment included a double mastectomy. Munn says the key to detecting her cancer was a risk assessment scoring tool. Joining us to explain is Director of Breast Cancer and Women's Oncology at the Beverly Hills Cancer Center, Dr. Linnea Chap. Thank you so much for being on with us. Thank My you. pleasure. Thanks this story having. has made so many headlines, and one of the things that was surprising to some people was that uh, Olivia Munn said she had gotten a mammogram that was fine, and then two months later she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And she credits this risk assessment tool with really helping to lead to more testing that detected it. What is this risk assessment? assessment tool? Well, um, a couple factors about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So she did have a mammogram and an important thing to point out is that it was noted and has been documented in the news that she has br dense breast tissue, mm. which is a risk factor that we now are aware of for developing breast cancer. So she had dense breast tissue and also I believe she had a genetic test done which showed she did not have any predisposition genetic factor for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So I believe she then sat down with her obstetrician who very acutely you know, offered doing this breast cancer risk assessment uh, tool to really look at what would be her risk of developing breast cancer over a five year period of time versus lifetime. And the factors in that test that were discovered. You're saying also family history should be something that is evaluated and part of the tool. So can you explain it even further on this tool? Is this something that we should be, as women here of a certain age, should we be asking our doctors for this tool? Yeah, it, very good, very good question. So this is a very simple tool. So multiple questions are asked to the woman about what her risk factors are. Mm -hmm. And these include multiple, there are approximately six. The age the patient is at the time it is done, what was the age of her having her first child, if she did have children, mm -hmm. the age of menstruation, uh, looking at family medical history, and also whether or not there were biopsies in the past, and if any of those biopsies showed atypical cells. And also race is important. So generally speaking, there are about six questions that are plugged into this tool, which then calculates that woman's five-year risk for developing breast cancer mm -hmm. compared to an average woman of the same age and race and then lifetime risk up to the age of 90. So again, I think that it's a very important tool to discuss with your physician. What I would advocate is not to do it on your own because mm. it, it has to be very the accurate test. what's utilized, mm. what you plug into this simple thing that we can all find on Google, but really to sit down with your doctor uh, before your appointment, really have, very important to have your family medical history, which is key. Okay, and because the higher score is what then uh, leads to more testing and more specific testing. She said she had an MRI. So what is a high score and what mm -hmm. kind of testing does that require and, and does insurance cover that kind of thing? Okay, so with this particular tool, again, assessing the different risk factors, it gives you a, a five-year and lifetime risk. So if the lifetime risk is deemed after calculation to be greater than 20%, it's felt that woman falls into a high-risk group. So I think all of the different colleges and recommendations do consider 20% or more to be high risk. And it was that that prompted her physician to order MRI imaging, which is a very sensitive but expensive tool in terms of looking if there were any abnormalities. And from what I've read, both sides, there was something suspicious and she ended up having bilateral breast cancer. Both sides were already involved. Mm. So it was uh, really, I think, uh, a key that her physician offered doing this very simple tool. Yeah. For the viewer who's watching right now, you know, I think oftentimes we say like, well, she's Olivia Munn. She's a celebrity. Maybe she's given some sort of access or special care because she is of a certain status. For an average Joe watching right now, what can we do to advocate for ourselves when we're in the doctor's office? Yeah, well, I think knowledge is power, clearly. Absolutely. So I think a woman needs to be as I already mentioned, very aware of what her family medical history is. And I think often still a mistake that's making and is one shortcoming of this tool is it only takes into account the maternal side of the history, oh. mother, daughter, or sister. The paternal side is equally important. So the woman really should know what her paternal history is mm. and also whether or not there was ovarian cancer, pancreatic cancer, or prostate cancer. So have that family medical history, have that knowledge when you go in to see your healthcare provider, mm -hmm. sit down with them, 
What is my risk? What does my mammogram show? Is there any additional testing that should be done? And women need to be assertive. I mean, let's face it, we're yeah. still sloughed off a little bit when we go to see the doctor. Yeah. We can be intimidated a bit. It's the doctor. I, mean, I myself even feel a little embarrassed to write things down. Mm -hmm. Write them down, mm -hmm. pull out your iPhone, and don't leave until those questions are answered. Be, be assertive. And before yeah. we go, if you do have that higher risk um, and you've gone over it with your doctor, what test should you be pushing for? Is it the MRI? Is there anything else that you need to be advocating for? Well, I think the gold standard still is mammogram. So mm -hmm. even though 15 out of 100 may actually miss the cancer, it's still the gold standard. Whether or not any additional testing should be done, particularly MRI, really needs to be discussed with the physician and what are your risk factors and where do you fall with this risk assessment tool, which is also referred to as the Gale model. I think that's much shorter. Oh, to, yeah, I, rem yeah. I remember Gale much easier. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for all of the information. As you mentioned, knowledge is power, and we hope that you at home feel a little bit more encouraged to speak with your doctor. So for more from Dr. Chap and the Beverly Hills Cancer Center, visit bhcancercenter.com. We'll be right back.